How's it going, everybody? It's Nova, and welcome back to another episode of Kapowcraft. It is episode number six, and we are starting off this episode basically underneath our giant mop grinder. As you can tell if I kind of zoom in up there. For a better view, this is what we worked on last episode. And if you guys want to check it out, you can click the cards up above. But in today's episode, we're going to be working on a sugarcane farm. That's right, and since the mob grinder is up above, we're going to be placing the sugarcane farm down below. And it'll funnel into this little neat little organization system that I made with the drawers here. This wasn't here before when I did the previous episode. I have basically set up the drawers to do all of the drops. I don't actually know how many of these little scroll things there are, but after doing a lot of, you know, AFK sessions here, I got pretty much this amount, and so I figured instead of just voiding them, we might as well just make a drawer for each of them. And as you can tell, as the sun sets, I have torched the heck out of this place. I mean, there are so many torches. I mean, once the map basically turns to night, you'll see it's this gigantic square around the mob grinder that I've torched up. I mean, look at how far the torches go. And this is basically just taking the terrain lighter and setting it in different positions. Wow, yeah, look... <laughs> Look at the map. I mean, that's just that's just so crazy that I have lit up that area. I still have to light up some caves down below, but most likely if we hit any caves when we're working on the sugarcane farm, you know, we can take care of that pretty easily. There's a creeper. Oh, he already saw me. Um, there's a skeleton over there. Yeah, hopefully we can make this area also look a bit better. Basically, we're working on this mob farm and the sugarcane farm because we're trying to make a bunch of rockets. Like I said in my last episode, I'd like to use the rockets to travel around the world and check out everyone's builds because, I mean, being on a multiplayer server, that's one of the cooler things you can do. So, rockets is the first thing that we are going to be using the gunpowder in this farm for and the paper that you can make from growing sugarcane. But, first things first, we are going to do a small little mining session so that we can get some supplies. We don't need that many supplies, but, you know, it's also nice to go and get some diamonds and emeralds whenever you can. So, we are going to work on that. But before we go on that small little mining session, there's something that I want to show you guys. As you can tell, there's something, there's a waypoint on my map that says weird chest. And let me be a little safe here. Let me kill these guys first. Here it is. See this little pressure plate right here? Well, this is, as you can tell by, you know, the, the Waila, it is called a fire trap. Now, I've seen these little pressure plate traps, you know, scattered all over the place. These things actually naturally spawn, it looks like. But what I didn't realize was that, at least for this one, if we get rid of this, there's a chest underneath it. I mean, I think, right? Yeah, like literally right underneath it, there's a chest. So it's it's kind of strange that maybe maybe whenever these things naturally generate, there's actually a chest underneath them. So it looks like it's just more dungeon stuff. Like, okay, gilded cutlass, iron knife. Eh, not really the greatest, but uh, I mean, I'll take the chest. Yeah, the chest is worth more to me than that. So now I can take it off of the waypoints because we don't really need to have that. So this is our haul from the small mining session. I don't think I was actually in the mines for that long. I think it was around an hour, but a lot of the time I was just kind of trying to light up the caves. It was still a bunch of the caves that were underneath, so it wasn't a new mine that we went to. But let's see how many materials we get from this. I'm going to put them in this chest. And this is just kind of from this, you know, little materials excess from this. So let's see how much we get. So wow, that gave us 19 diamonds. We almost got two stacks of lapis. We got about stack and an almost half of gold. And we, we got nether quartz because we found an ore bag that was dropped from... Uh, some sort of mobs, like either a creeper or a skeleton or something like that. So that's where the nether quartz ore came from. And we found a lot of emeralds too. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good haul. Emeralds are very useful right now. So that's our haul. Another thing I forgot to mention was we now have two skeleton horses. And, uh, that's basically because, uh, 
somehow, and I don't actually really remember how it happened, but I'll be showing the little footage as I speak, there was two instances of skeleton traps in the footage. I basically, I was so surprised that I kind of just like dug my myself into a hole and I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't figure out how to defeat them. But in the end, I tried to dis I tried to kill the skeleton riders before it ended up killing the skeleton horses. But out of eight skeletal riders and eight skeleton horses, I was only able to get two skeleton horses. But hey. At least that's better than none. Okay, so this is the design that I'm going to be settling for. Uh, it's pretty easy to make, and there are a lot of people that have created tutorials on this. I mean, it's pretty much just, well, when the sugar cane grows up, right as it hits the observer, it will power the pistons, because there is actually redstone up there. So it'll power the pistons, which will push the sugar cane out. And of course, if there isn't anything to block it, the pistons will just push the sugar cane out all over the place. So if we have something like glass to, you know, help uh, stop it, I mean, that's not really enough glass, but we're having, we have a bunch more smelting up over here, then it should stop it. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're just going to have this type of, like, chunk go all the way down and have multiple rows of it, and as it all gets pushed, it will hit the glass, and it will fall down, and I mean, there'll probably be a space where the glass, there'll probably be a space right here. So as it goes, it falls all the way down to, I guess, a water stream, which will take it into hoppers, and then we will use these hopper ducts, because these hopper ducts will actually push the items up into other hoppers, to basically push the items back up into our mob grinder farm's storage. So right here is where I'm going to set the sugarcane stuff, and yeah, there was a <laughs> there was a feather already in the mob grinder. I didn't, I forgot about that. I I don't really care about feathers because they're only going to come from chicken jockeys. Um, so we really don't we don't need that. Bye. But now the farm looks a little bit stranger. I'll give it that. <laughs> But it looks more interesting, so uh, we're going to lock those up. So as you can tell, these little stone structures right here are actually, I guess, markers for where the farm is going to go, or is going to start. Like, the top farm is going to be on the outside. So I guess it'll have, like, maybe, you know, that will be dug out or something. This will be, like, where they all fall, and then there'll be glass here or something like that. I, I don't know. Alright, so there's the water. Now we can place the sugar cane pretty easily, okay, and I think actually there needs to be a block here anyway, so yeah, it looks like the farm is going to be a little bit taller than I thought, but that's fine, because we're just going to do this, that's where the pistons go, and then the observers go above them, stone here. Whatever we want. Uh put the observers like that, okay, and we need to run some redstone here as well, so let's get that, alright, so that should be the farm, it took like basically five seconds to do, right, that should, that should, actually these need to be one block higher, I cannot believe I forgot that, I made a test farm and still I messed it up. Now when we do this, there we go, and it's actually pointing into the observers like it should be. So now if I make it go up, yep, it'll push the sugar cane off. Now the only problem with this is I think these designs usually have hopper mine carts running with them so that they can pick up the sugar cane even if it falls on this dirt block right here, on the block that the sugar cane is growing out from. But, I mean, eh, I don't know, I mean, maybe, maybe we should make these sticky pistons, or no, wait, that wouldn't work. I was thinking we should make these sticky pistons with slime blocks, because then that, that would actually push the sugar cane farther out, so that it would more than likely fall, like, right here. So, yeah, I don't know. Anywho, yeah, like, I guess just picture this side on that side. So, yeah, I mean, that looks kind of cool, I guess. It seems a little strange, but it also seems kind of like industrial, I guess. 
Um, cause at this point, basically, this is like one third of one half of the farm, so I guess this is like one sixth of the farm. This is like two sixes of the farm. Uh, so basically, like, you know, I mean, every so often you'll see a, you know, a sugarcane grow, and it'll push it out. And, you know, it's kind of like, it, it's all exposed. Like, the wiring is kind of exposed, even though there's really no wires at all in this. I mean, there, I, I guess you can kind of technically count these as wiring. Kind of, but I mean, it, it's really not a complex machine. But at least we have this like glass area to kind of see how things are going, and we, we could probably just roof it off. I mean, uh, I don't really think anything's gonna fall in here or it's gonna mess up anything. I don't really think it matters. But at this point, basically, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through, and we're gonna make another one of these directly underneath it. And we're going to make a third one directly underneath that. And at the bottom below that, there will be water that should bring in all the items to a hopper. And then we'll use these hopper ducts right here to, I guess we'll have to do some, like, tunneling. And we'll bring it all the way into, well, actually, there's probably going to be a hopper behind this thing. Because for some reason, hopper ducts don't actually go into this. They only go into hoppers. Go, go figure, right? I mean, but... Either way, we're going to put it into a hopper behind it, which is going into this, and that will automatically put sugarcane in there. So we will have an automatic sugarcane farm. And at some point, probably right here, we'll put one of those ender chests. Not one of these types of vanilla ender chests, but one of uh, this one. One of these ender chests. And we can just place all of our rockets in there after we craft them, which we should probably put a crafting table here at some point. And then, when we set up our shop at spawn, we can place another ender chest that is of the same configuration as that ender chest. And we can put a sign that says, you know, hey, like, uh, you know, take some rockets, leave some diamonds. Because I would really like some more diamonds, you guys. Diamonds are a fish's best friend. I mean, seriously. So, I've been doing a little bit of digging. As you can tell, it's actually quite a lot. Um, and I've uh, set up all of the mechanisms here. Um, and I actually have them set up already, even planted with the sugar cane on this side. Um, and we see, as we can tell. And, uh, yeah, the farm is actually working, so we are getting some sugar cane automatically. And it uh, looks like some of it fell there. But that was... Uh, actually, I don't know how many I got there, because I already had sugar cane in my inventory. But, now we have some sugar cane. I mean, we had some before. But now we can go plant this over in the other farms. So that... These will start producing sugarcane on their own as well. And as you can tell, this is kind of how I basically like just mined out like this three by eight block area, and I just kind of put it all here. And I made sure to put torches here, so don't worry, no mobs will spawn down here. I mean, not like it would matter, and of course it would, it would rain. I mean, the rain is fine. I mean, we we kind of have a giant umbrella here, <laughs> but. Uh, why? Why does it rain so much on this server? Uh, do I complain about the rain too much, guys? Comment down below if you think I do. I probably am not going to like the answer, but oh well. Alright, so I'm just going to get up here, my pillar up here, and plant this sugar cane. I've got the same setup behind here. A little bit more cramped, I guess, but uh, not to worry. Should be fine, should work fine. And basically, I've also kind of set up the areas where we're going to start pulling in the what were they what are they called again the hopper ducks yeah these things right here so basically i have kind of these go down to a certain block height and then the block height of, of this hopper which is what we're going to be pushing them into and actually now that i think about it it might just be easier to have them go into each other and then go up into here that might actually be a better idea. So let's try that. Because I don't necessarily want to... Whoa. Yeah, I forgot about that. There's a cave under here. For some reason, I I kind of knew that there was a cave down here. And actually, is there light down there? Or is that from the hole that I made before? Anyways, probably from there. But... Yeah, there is a cave down here, and uh, I kind of want to start lighting this up, because this will help the the rates of our mob farm, our mob grinder. I'm just a little bit scared, because I've been hearing mobs all day, 
And uh, now they all seem to be gone. Oh, yeah, I see. Saw him. Um. Oh, oh, wait. I see some. There we go. Probably just gotta light up this area right here, and it should be fine. Oh wow, there it is. Oh my gosh. No. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's just great. Just lower my health, why don't you, little baby zombie? Uh oh. Uh oh, I hear a spider. Where are you, spider? Oh god. Do a wheel. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're coming at me from both angles. Um This is not fun. This is I I swear, if I die here, this is this is not gonna be fun. Alright. So the water will flow at, at least well, I mean I guess it doesn't really matter how many times how many blocks it needs to flow, but we're going to need to block this off, right? And once it flows, it'll flow into this hopper, which will have hopper ducks, and then they will meet here, I guess. Maybe they'll meet, they'll meet inside of another hopper. How about that? Because I don't think the hopper ducks themselves can actually split off. But then they will go up and into that hopper and into that drawer controller, which will put the sugarcane into the drawers. And we'll have tons and tons of sugarcane. So that's how that works. Then we're basically just going to close this off, like, right here. We're going to close it off. Actually, I don't know. I kind of want to have, like, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we'll close it off, like, maybe, like, where will we close it off? Oh, what the? Wow. How did you get here? You blend it in. You blend in with... Why are you freaking out? Oh, okay, you were just... Yeah, I think there's just something weird about these guys, I don't know. I'm thinking what we're gonna do is maybe we'll have like... One, two, three... Uh, like, where's the glass? Maybe we could have like one, two, three right here? So that if, you know, like, we put this back up and we wanna like look... Look down at uh, the other farms. I mean, we can kind of see them here, but yeah, it does get kind of blocked. So I like this idea of kind of, you know, we'll close this off, obviously, but we'll kind of have like a viewing platform of all of the different sugarcane farms, and we might be able to see them all activate at once. Who knows? So this place looks a little bit different. As you can tell, I have kind of uprooted a lot of the f top layer of it. That's mainly because we're going to be replacing that with some decoration blocks. After I go over and get some back at the base, somewhere over in that distance. But, I just wanted to stay here to show you guys that I have actually connected up both of these farms. And I think we can check it out. Yep, we have 13 in here, and I guess they're all gonna go... Yeah, see, so all of them are one. They're all gonna go into this drawer before they go into the rest. But, I figured that... We're going to be getting a lot of sugarcane pumping out. We will put in the upgrades at some point for this farm because, I mean, we're getting kind of close. I think it's like 2048 is the limit. So, yeah, we will definitely be putting in some upgrades for the mob stuff and yeah, the sugarcane stuff as well if we need it. But, yeah, it is working. And so I will... Oh, speak of the devil. It just worked. Let's see if it goes in. Um. Oh, yep, see? It just changed, so we know that the farm is working. I made sure to... I mean, we can probably check it out down here. Um, actually, we could check it out from our new little skylight here. See, if we look at that, there is water, and it actually continues a little far off, so let's say that the piston pushes it and actually somehow glitches through. It's still going to get pushed by the water. The water is seven blocks. It stops right at that block, which empties it into that hopper, and they all kind of converge into another hopper, which goes up into this drawer controller right here. Another great thing about these is that it's great to launch off with the elytra. Whee! This stone looks kind of ugly. Stone brick looks a lot better, and basically it's the least we can do because, well, this is kind of the best block to use, I guess? I don't really know. Oh, did not think about that.
So yeah, that looks a little bit better. Looks a bit more like industrial. Like we're farming some sugar cane. Aw, yeah. And I want to put some uh, slabs over on this side as well. Just put the slabs on here for symmetry's purpose. And we'll do the same on this side. First, we've got to re replace these blocks. I want to get rid of this odd pattern of blocks, you know, like marble, stone, dirt, and decide all this colorful, just random stuff. Let's just make it kind of nice, you know. Get rid of that. Why am I still holding a stone brick? I don't know. It does need some, uh... Ooh, actually, that's a, another good thing. Lighting is going to be kind of annoying. I was thinking of getting some glowstone. And just like... Oh, well, actually, maybe we could use the cork mod to make glowstone stairs. Can we do that? I don't know if we can. I don't even know how to use the cork mod at this point. Like, I I know parts of it, but... Uh, yeah, I don't really know. Anyway, we could just use glowstone. Yeah. Or unless, actually, I forgot, we can totally chisel them as well. Um, what, wait, what? Is, uh, this might just be the light, but it, these look very light. Let's try this. This is like my go-to pattern usually for stuff. For, for ground, you know, at least. It's like a nice little tie. Yeah, again, it's, it's so much lighter. What's going on with that? I don't know if I like that. But, I don't think I hate it either. What is a good wall? Would this be a good wall? I don't even know, man. Why would you... Why would I do this? Why would I want to do this? Why am I doing this to myself, guys? This is... Uh, this, this... Yeah, this looks bad. Obviously, I don't want it to be all the same color. I made this area right here because it was kind of like a little like entrance in and then I was going to take like this and I was going to go, you know, like make a couple of uh, pathways kind of out because I like this. Probably gets like less of a full blown path as it gets farther out. I don't really know if I totally fully like this, but uh, it's starting to grow on me. No, I don't think that the iron bars work well with the glass. It's also nighttime. Let's change that. And it's raining, so perfect timing, right? Yeah, I don't like these iron bars. Say goodbye. Or maybe the andesite. How about the polished andesite? How about that? Let's, let's go for that. Let's see what that does. I really like polished andesite. It is by far one of the more interesting blocks at least. I mean stone brick is great but we've been using stone brick for a while after or before they added in that you know the newer blocks these stone these newer stone blocks they you know like we got the granite which is kind of more like clay looking and then the diorite which is like bird poop looking but then this is almost like it's like an alternate stone brick and it, I really like it. Actually, that's not bad. I, I like this like little separator kind of in the middle because you know you have. Oh, see that kind of messes with the view of what you're looking at. Yeah. Ah. Uh, all right, so that looks kind of cool. Um, and actually, maybe we could just continue the pillars like up. You know, that would be interesting. Maybe the pillars could be continued up like here. Maybe. I don't really know how far I wanted to go. That, that kind of ties it together, I feel like, and it also sort of matches with the slab stone, the stone slab pillars, and, you know, all that kind of other junk. Or maybe we could try a different texture, like this. I don't know why, but I really like this texture, but I don't know how well it works over here. I mean, at this point, it kind of looks like really small bricks. Yeah, I don't know if I like it, because it's too similar to the dirt right there and to the acacia. So, we're going to take that town. Sugar cane blocks. Let's see how this looks. Oh god, this block looks like 
It kind of looks like a picnic blanket, but the wrong way. At least the top of it. Maybe we can top it off with something. I don't know. It kind of looks like it just blends in with the grass and not really in a good way. I don't know. I have sort of... Looks like I've hit a roadblock on this. I don't really know what to do. Mm. Let's get some more. Like, it's, it's, it's getting there, but... Uh, I don't know if it's getting there quick enough. Or we, we could actually go with a totally different designed block as well. We don't have to necessarily just go for the polished andesite. Um, because this is good for flooring. I usually use this for flooring, but I kind of like this disordered tiles block. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh! You know what? I really like this block. I don't know what is what is up with this block, but I really, really like it. I think that I also kind of just want to change every single stone gray block, except for the slabs, to that block. Because that, that just looks like a clump of like, I don't even know, it's like cobblestone, but like, blocky cobblestone. So it's more Minecrafty than it really, really needs to be. Yeah, see, I really like this. I kind of actually want to change that block over there, that area over here. This area can probably stay the same. I feel like, because this kind of connects over here that maybe it would change, you know, it would kind of like go into this pattern and that's how it would be, you know, something like that. This is like, this is like the equivalent of like falling in love, is like finding a really great Minecraft texture. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's all I can really say about that. I mean, I don't know how, how well that translates, but it's got to translate somewhere. All right, so I've done a little bit of work. And this is what I've come up with. I uh, thickened the path out a bit more. And I put a bunch of slabs kind of around. Actually, that kind of makes me give me an idea. Maybe I should put some slabs here, too. Just sort of give it that like little like castle-y like, look type thing. Um, I've changed this pattern right here. Uh, I made like andesite, polished andesite right around here. Stone bricks around there and polished andesite around there. Not really sure this is the greatest pattern, but I kind of wanted to keep true with the andesite over there. But I did want to include the stone bricks, so mm, we'll 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 come back to it tomorrow and see uh, if it looks good. But I don't know. I think it's gonna be. I think it should be fine. We topped off the top parts of these things with stone slabs, which not only makes this not able to be spawned upon, but it also sort of gives it. A nice little roof, because, I mean, after I was looking at the tops of these things, it kind of looked like there was something missing, like the glass just trailed off into the sky. So I gave them roofs to kind of give them a more complete look. I kind of wanted to change that down area, but, like, eh, it doesn't really look like it needs that much. I mean, we should probably put some more torches down there to offset those, but we'll get to that soon enough. I raised this a bit, mainly because, I don't know, it felt too rigid. So I kind of made it like go over a little bit, and this is kind of also like a bridge that you can walk past here to go get in here. Not really sure why you want to go over here, but that's something that I wanted to do. And uh, I'm probably going to leave this... Oh wow, almost fell. That's going to be where I place the ender chest, like I said before. I'm going to put that there, but I just wanted to make that look a little bit better. Just so when I come back and actually, you know, craft that up, I can I can put that there. That... Looks like this is this area finally done. We have the mob grinder up there with the AFK platform as well. And now we have a sugarcane farm. That is basically six different sugarcane farms. They're five blocks wide. And at the moment, through this whole recording, we have got 115 sugarcane in this one drawer. So, I mean, that's... That's not a bad, you know, it's only been like maybe a few hours or so. It's not really the greatest. I'm not really going for like a huge, you know, huge amount. But now, at least while we're AFKing to get some mob drops, we can also AFK and get some sugarcane. So with all that being said, this is the end of the episode. If you like what you watch, click that like button. 
And if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. See you guys in the next episode.